people often ask me what should we eat when we have parkinson disease and what is protective what can slow the disease and what is harmful it's a really difficult question to answer cause uh, jury is still out and we are not very specific about that if there is any nutritious thing which can cure parkinson disease or something if they avoid then the parkinson disease progression could stop but still there is lot of evidence for things which we can consider are helpful in patients with parkinson disease or they are neuroprotective in nature and then we also know uh, things which should be avoided in parkinson disease let's start with the stuff which we, which can help you now the most important thing is flavonoids now flavonoids are those colorful rich fruits uh, which are found to be neuroprotective they can cross blood brain barrier and in various studies it's found that they are good for brain these are things like cherries berries oranges apples so i would suggest to have more or some of these in your diet the other group of compounds which you can understand can help in parkinson's disease is cause they are rich in phenylalanine now phenylalanine is needed to make dopamine so if you have a more of that substrate that can help to have more of dopamine in the body and this is found in things like brazilian nuts pecans uh, other things like uh, legumes lentils chickpeas and probably having these things on a regular basis is really good i sometimes suggest people to have uh, water soaked almonds overnight to be taken in morning like 5 to 6 of them and they are really good other thing which is found in dozens of various studies which is neuroprotective in nature and which helps uh, to as to decrease the risk factor of having parkinson disease is caffeine so i believe having um, coffee is a good thing to avoid parkinson's patient uh, parkinson's disease in moderation another important thing is uh, which is very important to remember is that don't take a high protein diet when with your medications cause it delays the absorption and then it can affect your parkinson disease so avoiding high proteinaceous diet would be a good idea lot of parkinson's patients have constipation and constipation delays the absorption of the medicines and it makes the disease worse so avoiding constipation by various measures like having more water intake having a high fiber diet like vegetables green vegetables and fruits and doing regular exercise doing walking all these things will help you uh, another very important uh, thing which is uh, seen as a curry spice uh, turmeric which is known as haldi in india this is found to be neuroprotective and it has an active compound which is known as curcumin now this curcumin is, is neuroprotective and can cross blood brain barrier and there are many studies in last 10 to 15 years which have uh, given evidence in support of that curcumin can help in parkinson disease it decreases the oxidative stress in the brain in patients with parkinson disease so it, and it's very easy it's healthy there is no side effect to it and you can have it in your curry or you can have as a raw powder or a tablet which is considered to be quite beneficial now we have discussed things which can definitely help in parkinson's patients but then there are things which might not be that good for parkinson's patients especially too much of alcohol definitely can't be a good thing given that it affects brain and um, and then definitely in parkinson's patients who are already having balance issues it can make it worse the other important thing is uh, which can help in parkinson's patients is uh, to have diet in moderation have small diets and do regular exercise so they can digest what they are eating and they don't have bloating and other things vitamin d is also an important factor and nowadays it's being implicated in most of the disorders whether it's depression whether it's multiple sclerosis whether it's dementia and there are studies which has come out in support of parkinson disease as well and these studies which are epidemiological studies they have found that patients who are having parkinson disease their vitamin d levels are quite low as compared to normal population so i believe there's no harm in taking some vitamin d supplements if you are suffering from parkinson's disease now there is one word of caution to what to avoid we have talked about alcohol but then another important thing which uh, i should say in in the recent epidemiological study in which they have found 
uh, is skim milk. They have found that people who were drinking skim milk once a day have 39% more chance than people who are having milk less than one serving a week. So probably some people are very addicted to all the milk products, I would say, to decrease your intake and that probably might be a good idea, though we just still don't have a very uh, robust evidence against milk products. So hope all these advice helps you and if we get more information about nutrition, I will definitely come up with a new video. Thanks for watching.